doing me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. Reaching the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clearing the. Hey, what's up, y'all? We on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we got a special guest. Bloody, how you feeling? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. How you feeling? I'm good. So, they got to say bloody from the O or just bloody? However you like it. <laughs> okay. So, I'm asking you a couple questions. Just say first thing that comes to mind. Um, what's your favorite song right now? My favorite song right now? Yeah. Um, Dota by my son, Kwani. I like oh. that song right now. Oh, you in tune. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm in tune. Um, celebrity Crush. Sexy red. Yeah, you keep saying that, bro. Like, <laughs> That's why I grip for it. What you like about sexy red? Put us on. You like how she's like. I ain't gonna lie. I like how she rap. She just look like I ain't like. She just fire. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, she I ain't. She just like she gonna put it on me. Yeah, like she's real freaky. Like you, you uh, think you up there? I know I can handle <laughs> that. I'm handling that. That week. Okay, so um, last thing you spend money on. Last thing I spend money on. Some food. I just bought some food today. Some weed, some food. Okay, you want if you could put together a collab, three people, who would it be? A collab, three people? Yeah. Like not myself. Including yourself. Like me and two other people. Um mm -hmm. I don't know. Anybody in the world. Oh, anybody in the world? Yeah. I gotta do a song with Drake. Okay. Gotta do a song with Drake and probably I don't know, probably do Drake. Damn. I gotta do a song with Trey. I don't know. I like 50 Cent too. Or oh, my son Kwani. One of those three. Okay, okay, okay. Um, worst song ever. Worst who got, song who ever. got the worst song ever? Or name the worst song ever. Big DOA. That's a bad track. <laughs> What's your um dream car? Dream car. Mm -hmm. No, I need the Maybach. Maybach driver so for me. <laughs> I need that one. Which rapper would you not let date your daughter if you have one? What rapper I'm not gonna let? I'm not gonna let Drake date my daughter. I ain't gonna lie. Or there's mad people I wouldn't let date my daughter. Mad rappers. Or okay, craziest DM you ever got? Craziest DM I ever got. <laughs> I got mad funny DMs. Niggas I don't fuck with. Trying to be cool. Um, craziest DM I ever got. I don't know. Someone asked me. He just sent my own. I release music to them. Like, why would I sell my own music to you? No, they desperate like that. That means, all right, that means they're ready for the project. They ready for shit. that project. <laughs> okay, um, what's the conspiracy theory you think is real? Like, mm, conspiracy theory I think is real? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe aliens is real. Maybe. Okay. Um, and give us, you got a picture. You got a picture. Give us a caption for like that's a bar of yours. A caption that's a bar of mine. Yeah, like give us one of your bars that could be used as a caption. Um. Oh. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> they know my bar when I'm coming outside. Or uh, yeah, I like that one. They know my bar when I'm coming outside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, favorite thing about Sugar Hill? Oh, my favorite thing, my my, my block, man, big. Come on. And most underrated artist? Most underrated artist. Um, I don't even know. That's cool. If you know. That's cool. All right, so give us the backstory of your name. Like, how'd you? Oh, I, got the, I got the same name as my pops. Okay. So he used to do music too or no? Uh, no. He just, um, you still, you fuck with your pops, right? Yeah, cool. Okay. He supports the music? Yeah. Yeah, he's jacking it. So how you got into music? How I got into music? My son died, my son died rapping. I just went to the studio with man, with everybody from my block that was rapping. My son died, mm -hmm. Duty, King, everybody, Roscoe, all the guys that was rapping. Mm -hmm. I just went all the way to the studio with all of them, chilling. Then I just start rapping, like, like now. How long ago? Like a year? How long is it? Not like January. Oh, almost a year. Yeah, once I get this January. January, it'll be a year. Right. So, um, so, of course, you say your dad's supportive. Is everybody in your family supportive of your music? Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, everybody like my music. I mean, I'm going up, so, mm -hmm. see, you got, you're most likely you're supportive. Okay. So, who inspired you growing up on the music tip? 
who I let growing up. Oh, when I was a little kid, I ain't gonna lie. I, well, I, my favorite rapper still right now is still Meek Mill, so I got Meek Mill's inspired me. Okay, that's that's nice. All right, so what's my So describe what it's like growing up in Sugar Hill, cause like it seems like all y'all been so close for all these years now. Sugar Hill, look, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you go that right way, you see your friends. You go that right way, you see your friends. You go down the block, might bump into the older house, might go into a dice game, go to the parks and <laughs> tournament. Everything happening on the hill. On the hill. And then like you've been like in mad music videos. So like when Eda did Ready for War, I think you was a thumbnail, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like you kind of already been in the spotlight. I feel like. So did it only make sense to do music, or was you into something else? Did you see yourself doing something else? I mean, I was into something else, but everybody kept say kept saying rap, rap, rap. Then I just did a song. We dropped it on the freestyle, and they, and they liked it, so I dropped another one. What you was into before? Before I was just out, or no, I was just outside. I mean, I used to play football when I was like ten and ten and stuff like that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so, you know, being from Sugar Hill, y'all all grew up together. What makes someone like your bro, like your man? It's like, what, like, you my have to bros have... My bros is people I knew since I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. And then the people from my neighborhood, my bros too. But anybody else, like, you got to have genuine love for me to jack it nowadays, bro, because niggas don't be mm-hmm. genuine. And then niggas always end up falling out. Especially if you're from New York, I'm going to end up falling out with you. Because that's just how it goes. I mean, okay, I feel like, um, I feel like y'all could, I don't know, I feel like, y'all feel like y'all be having disagreements that could be talked about on the back end, or does everybody just take it to the internet so fast? I mean, after the internet, shit could still be taken to the back end, but I guess. Once the once fans know, it's kind of hard to. Nah, once the fans know, it still don't matter, because the niggas don't went back on mass stuff, but once you say, once you, it's like, I ain't bring the deads up, it's over. Okay. That's when they really care. But that's about. when it's time to cut niggas off and shit. Yeah. Okay, so you know, um, being from Sugar Hill, you know, some people like y'all, some people don't. How do you decipher when it's beef? Um, I know when it's beef because if I don't know you, I'm already looking at you because I know nobody fuck with my block. So if you from somewhere else, you obviously don't fuck with my niggas. But how do you know? Like, they have to be dissing, or just like if you wasn't given energy before? Mm-mm. Or, like, how do you know? Look, if somebody dissing my block, I already know on my ops, though. Yeah. Yeah, it don't matter if they like dissing Every day it's a new character. No, every day it's a new person <laughs> dissing, but that don't mean that don't they like per se ain't come from a block that we already had beef oh, with. Oh, got it, got And got it's it. blocks that don't diss us that we got more beef with than blocks that people that do diss us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, type shit, type shit. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, on the, um, how you feel about that? Like, people that's kind of, like, dissing, trying to get attention and stuff like that. People that's dissing, trying to get attention. I mean, go yeah. up how you go up, but you dissing us and you don't know us, that's how you get hurt, baby boy. On the music tip, what's some of your plans, though, moving forward? Gotta go up. I just gotta go up. I know. What's some goals you have for yourself right now? My girls I got for myself, I need to drop, drop again. I need a new mm-hmm. deal by next year. I need to keep going up. A new deal? You just signed a deal. Yeah, but like, like a month or so. I'm trying to be next A six, month is not long. I'm talking about like, <laughs> I'm talking about like in the next so six months. So you want to go months. major? You want to go major type yeah, like Got it, got it, got it. Months. All right, so like, okay, we looking forward to the project, right? Mm-hmm. You have a date yet? You got the date? Oh, yeah, I'm dropping on the 8th. We outside. September 8th. September 8th. I'm going to post that once I oh, leave. Oh, wow, that's my birthday. September 8th. Uh-huh. All right. So you're dropping on the 8th. Any features on the project? Got mad features. Any uh, to share? Yeah, I got features with the guys. Me and Tootie. Mm-hmm. Me and Tita. Me and BBG. Couple guys. We going up. Yeah. How um How is Duty Low? Was free my son, Duty. I ain't going to lie. I just, I just did a free Duty Low song. That shit about to come out on a freestyle. Mm-hmm. Also, KJ about to drop that. Yeah. So for me, um, is, do you feel like cops be like harassing y'all, being at y'all artists, or they just be a lot going on? Cops that do be harassing. I ain't gonna lie, but I might even I don't play with the police. So. Type shit. So okay, so you titled your project from the from the trap to rap. From the rap to trap, from the trap to the rap. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Why? What inspired that name? I'm really outside. I've been outside. 
<laughs> I'm like, okay. That's what that means. So when we if hear you know this, what it mean, you know what it mean. What you when we hear this mic? project, what do you want us to get from it? Like, what do you want your fans, supporters to get from this project? From the trap to rapping out. <laughs> that, that's what I really want to get, but I don't okay. know. It's okay. So, um, are you opening up more? Because I feel like in some of your songs, you really open up about like pain or like what you've been through and things like that. Oh, yeah. Are we gonna know more of Bloody on this one? Yeah. It's a couple like it's only like four or five old songs and the rest of them is gonna be new songs. The rest of them new. Okay, so um how you been doing feeling like about traveling so far? You've been uh, to Miami, everything? I mean I've been went to Miami before, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm going I mean, I'm going more places now. Yeah. You went viral in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Miami, you crazy, right? Yeah. So like what happened with that? Crazy day. Running late, should have been on time, right? <laughs> oh, so you missed your flight? Nah, I mean, we missed it, but we was on time. We was like almost there. Type shit, and mm. then, um, so, all right, so how did it get to the internet, though? Because I don't think you posted it first. I think they posted it first. Nah, someone was recording for the background. Oh, somebody that's not even with y'all type shit. Somebody that was not even with Fans, it. you feel me? Y'all lit, y'all can't be doing certain stuff. Y'all have fans. But you followed up with the song, For One Stomp. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so are you feeling like you kind of over that situation? You done talking about it? Or, like, it's up forever? Like, how are you feeling about that? It's up with them. It's up. But that shit over them niggas. It's fake deal. <laughs> Did you, um, when it hit the internet, though, I mean, of course, it doesn't matter now, but, like, they kind of like tried to post it like they did something, then the videos came and all of that stuff. I didn't even have my phone. My screen was broken. My screen had dropped like the day before mm -hmm. Miami, like two days before mm -hmm. Miami. So when we was leaving, my, my joint wasn't working, so I couldn't even post. But then, and my Sarasco phone was dead, so we didn't even get to post. But by the time we got all the way picked up, then like we charged this phone and stuff. Then we was to see a man like, Ding, ding, all ding, the posts, all yeah, the, the mix is going live and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Nah, they on that. So watch we got to the hotel. Went live. Went crazy. Went crazy. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, but other than them, though, you met a lot of people in Miami. You met Sexy Red, right? Yeah, I took a picture with her. Or so you shot your people. shot or nah? I shot my shot. Yeah, I'm like, you, you mad sure? pretty. I'm like, <laughs> where my mother? I'm lying. I'm lying. I was fake. Lit. All right, so for me, you know I'm going to down. Like, oh, that's, oh, yeah. that's my chance right here. All right, whatever. So, um, do you feel like you would move out of NYC or no? Yeah, I should move. Like, where you want to go to? I don't know. I want to move to Arizona. Stop lying. I was broke to me. I want to move to Arizona because I was a little kid. Why? Huh? Get mad. Land. Live all by myself. I don't got to worry about nobody. So, you like being alone? I mean, I like being alone. Yeah, sometimes. I feel like you like being with your friends. I feel like you like being with people, no? Yeah. I'm not going to be all alone, just me by myself. But like, niggas not really traveling to Arizona game. Yeah, but if I get that all the way out there, everybody gonna pull up. We gonna be lit. In Arizona, or it's lit. I, what? It's not lit. I've never been. I can't say. I don't know. I've never been. All right. So um, so did you see Crooklyn list when he listed the twelve top male rappers? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Hmm. I seen it. Yeah, you seen it. <laughs> you on the list? I seen it. Yeah. How do you feel about your spot? I think you're like one, two. To me, I just started. I mean, I don't know. As long as I, I mean, if I got on the list. You had number nine. You went top ten. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy I got to be on the list. I ain't going <laughs> to lie. You know what I mean? I've been dropping that pain. <laughs> Do you feel like you should have been higher or lower? Or nah, I'm chilling. I'm actually chilling. Number nine is valid. Number nine. And it's mad people in New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is mad people in New York right now. So um, in your eyes, though, what makes somebody a good rapper? You feel like lyrics, you feel like beat I mean, selection, energy. All three of those. If you, don't got, if you got one of those three and you could go crazy with it, then you're going to go up. Mm -hmm. If you got all three of those, then you got to go. How are you feeling about drill overall as a whole right now, drill music? Drill, I didn't go like, drill not all that bad because drill really that get, get like the young black people paid. Mm -hmm. So think about it like that. It's an opportunity for kids to get millions of dollars, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people disagree with, like, y'all lyrics and shit y'all be saying. Yeah. Just lyrics. The lyrics don't really matter. 
I mean, the lyrics matter, I guess, type joint, but like, the lyrics don't matter. Just think about it like that. Like, it's an opportunity for these kids that would have never made this type of money without that. Mm -hmm. Now they can make that type of money. So they don't need to go NBA or, they, they, it's another way. So mm -hmm. more kids are going to be able to get out now. Mm -hmm. so Do you feel like Jill dying out, though? Drill? Nah, mm -hmm. how Drill Nine do? I'm asking you. I don't, I'm just asking your opinion. Nah, I don't think Drill Nine. I don't know. Who do you feel like are some of the originators from New York of like Drill? Tutu, PNV, I don't know, Chef G, Envy Kane. Damn, you know about Envy Kane? People don't be known by him. That's good. How do you feel about um the blogs though? Do you feel like the blogs are helping or hurting the the music? Huh? How you feel about blogs? You feel like this helping or hurting the music? It depends. Blogs that be having mad views, they be posting music. That's the good part, but blogs do be gassing joint stuff up to I'm not gonna lie. Blogs be gassing stuff. Do you have like something that you fuck with versus something that you don't fuck with? Do you like that they be posting all your business or are you like your shit private? I mean, I don't care, bro. I'll be, uh, for me, like I don't be getting posted like on some dumb stuff. Like I don't be really doing I be moving you also better. don't seem like you're too much of an internet person either, though. Yeah, you I go be, live with your friends, but like. Yeah, I don't be moving dumb. So, if you keep doing mad, extra dumb stuff, trying to get clout off them pages, then you're going to get posted. Mm -hmm. Stay out of the mix. Do you feel like, um, do you feel like people be trolling as a sense of, like, getting clout or, like, getting exposure? Do you think that helps or hurts? Trolling? Yeah. I mean, trolling, they get you clout, but... If you keep trolling and then you and then the fans find out that you actually like daring, you gonna fall off eventually. Mad people be falling off trolling, mm -hmm. then find out they dead there. Yeah. Right. So um so like okay so when you was going up though, of course a bunch of labels calling. What made you lock in with Create? Create. I was mm -hmm. been working with Create like since I was dropping my singles. Mm -hmm. Like that's how I was distributing my music through Create Music where I get paid off my YouTube faster through them than other mm -hmm. distributions. For me? Okay. Yeah, so I just went with them. All right. So moving forward, like, what are you looking for? Nah, move forward, I'm looking for, like, I'm trying to do more shows, trying to just go more places. I'm really trying to perform the whole day. That's what I really want. I want to perform. I want to, for me, pull up. Being that, like, you know, a lot of people from Sugar Hills doing music, a lot of y'all lit. I feel like when y'all all get together, y'all go viral. But like, you know, sometimes on the Dolly tip, it don't seem like everybody be supportive or some people be more supportive of other artists than others. Do you do numbers like discourage you? Like if your song don't get a certain amount of views, does that bother you? Or do you feel like you just gotta keep working? No, I mean, me personally, I, numbers don't discourage me, but I've been dead been around my friends. So like, for me, they be knowing what they supposed to do and when they should don't do it. They, they be getting a little tight too, but me, like, I just started doing 100 mm -hmm. in a day. So if my joint don't do 100 in a day, it don't matter to me because for me, I'm just starting. Like, mm -hmm. as long as I'm getting more than 50K, 100K a day or something like that, or like on the video, as long mm -hmm. as I get 100K on the video, I'm good. Mm -hmm. so I don't care about me right now. Once I start getting it though, then I'm, a, <laughs> I'm you go, that's what I'm expecting. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to branch off and do other stuff besides drill music? Yeah. Like what? I mean, I guess I want to just rap. Like, I want to rap. Like, mm -hmm. I started just draw. Like, I guess I want to rap. Like, no dissing, no deaths, just straight rapping. Okay. So, are you working on that next year? Yeah. Are you working on that on a project, or is it a couple diss tracks in there? No, nah, it's diss tracks in there. I ain't gonna <laughs> it's a couple diss tracks in there. It's a couple. It's a couple. But it's a couple joints that's dead, no dissing, no deaths, too. Okay, okay, okay. And then, um, okay, so, you know, being that, you know, you around a lot of people in the industry now, what's something that you learned so far? Like traveling, meeting different people, what's something that you learned so far on your journey? Sometimes, like, you can't really get into it with everybody because then that's how you burn your bridges. Like, I guess when I was younger, I tell you shit, like, we think used to just do anything. Like, I already knew, like, when I used to come with my friends somewhere and like, we was around the people, I already knew, like, this shit's about to go left. Like, in my mind, I already knew because I was just one of them niggas. Like, okay. yeah, so you can't let everything go left. You got to be cool with some people sometimes. Okay. Yeah, so. so is that something you're still working on? Yeah. You feel like you have a temper or you feel like I mean, yeah, you I got just a have PTSD from being in the hood type shit? 
I mean, I got tempo, you got PTSD, are you aware? Yeah. You're going to be aware. Okay, but on the mental tip, though, like, how do you feel like you keep yourself healthy and, like, staying positive and so on? Oh, sometimes I just, man, I go outside by myself, <laughs> chill by myself, <laughs> do me by myself, or... Type shit. Okay, any other things? Like, if you talk to your family, talk to people? Yeah, I'll talk to my like family. more to yourself? I go, I'll talk to my family, ch- shop it on my pops, my friends. Smoke up, chill, sleep. Let's see that, chill, sleep. All right, so we're going to play a game. One more. Um, I'm going to name something, whether it's a category or, like, a topic, and you tell me who you feel like started it or who was one of the first people you heard doing it. So let's say getting sturdy. Who were some of the first people started saying that or some of the first people you remember doing that or? First people, I don't know. Getting yeah, sturdy. I was the kid's 30. <laughs> in fact, I was getting steady before a lot of niggas. But the people that I was twirling, I guess that was the first kid's 30 people. Nah, I think twirling's twirling. I think getting sturdy is getting sturdy. All right, but twirling is like, I mean, that's like, where that came from. Like, we, everybody move, started, started that, then it became more, then became more and more. I feel like every generation got a dance move. I feel like right now it's just getting sturdy, like you know, twirling. I mean, Jersey got they hips, whatever, Philly. Well, Type shit. Um, okay, who you feel like was one of the first people to do Jersey Drill? Or who was the first you heard? First person I heard doing Jersey Drill. Mm-hmm. Probably like Bam Man. Yeah, Bam Man to where those are the people I heard doing Jersey Drill, like Jersey, like those beasts, mm-hmm. club beasts. Yeah. Um, first people you heard doing sample drill. The cars. <laughs> Not in New York. I ain't gonna lie in New York, like yeah. Doc King. Fly. Like those people, I ain't really hear like, yeah, I ain't really hear no Brooklyn niggas doing. Church. I mean, sample drill tonight. Sample drill, yeah, that's the word I heard. All right, the whole deep Batman voice thing. Who were some of the first people you heard doing that? Deep Batman voice, like raspy joint. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I gotta be Bronx. Bronx. Yeah, it's like, definitely somebody from the Bronx. I don't know who. Well, Everybody got different opinions. I forgot. I don't know. I don't know. Some people Whoa. might say Pop Smoke. Some people might say... Oh, Pop Smoke. But that's that's not that, though. Batman yeah. voice, the, yeah. that's the deep the voice. Deep but the raspy voice is different, though. Yeah, some people say Block Work. Some people say you. Some people say... You know, yeah, because the way Block Work and them rap is not the same way as Siggy and Pop Smoke. Smoke. That's yeah. that and that's that. Yeah, those yeah. are two different deep voices. Siggy, Chef... Dusty, all of them. Dusty. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so who was some of the first people we heard saying Riz? Riz? Yeah. I don't know. YouTube. YouTube peoples. YouTube peoples. Do you do you watch YouTube or not? Not really. I mean, I watch YouTube. Yeah, I watch YouTube all day. Mad music videos. I be watching. You know the funny card How you feel about the content creators? We be having fun. I go. <laughs> we be going up. So I ain't gonna lie. I was about to say, it look like I be having fun. How you feel about this whole boxing thing? Bro, they just keep trying to box me. I don't know why they want to box me. Not playing. We can box, though. Um, it don't matter. Boxing fun. I think it's cool that they pull up and box. And do you feel like that's like, do you feel like you should like not do some of that stuff because you're an artist? Or do you feel like you're just young having fun type shit? You're just young having fun. Mm-hmm. What's somebody going to say? You lost to Google or Naughty or Idris in a fight or something. Type shit. I mean, them niggas wasn't fake knocking niggas out. Type shit. Yeah, the niggas know. already lost before to real gangsters. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, long as y'all, like, cool with it. But I see, like, even Kenzo, she about to box Amaretta. So it seemed like they really might put y'all on some boxing shit. Would that be something you into or not? Those are people that are cool with each other. I mean, they could put someone that's cool with each other to box. Would you box for some money or you want to just do music shit? Box for some money, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, yeah. Or yeah. for some bad, that's on the line. Do you feel like, like, I feel like people have artists like nah. making. That's what I'm saying. Some people have artists making more content than music. Oh, so you feel like, oh is there gonna be a time you draw the line where like you done with content, straight music, or you think content is fun? Content fun, I ain't gonna lie, I be having fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you did a song with one of them, right? Cool. Didn't you do a song with Nodi or you was playing? Nah, we was playing. Oh, okay. 
Would you really do a song with them or not? Nah, yeah, I'm gonna do a song with Nudy and Egypt, all four, all three of us. Oh man, they all be like the content creators be fake dissing each other. <laughs> I feel like I don't know. I feel like y'all just having fun. There's just be a lot going on with that. Um, is there any content other other content creators you fuck with besides them? Um, fuck with Mappy, my son Sean, son Lamar. Fuck with mad people. Nah. Um, my son Raheem, Matt, all of them. I I say, all of when you traveling, are you meeting more people like that too? Traveling? Yeah. I mean, meeting other people? I be meeting other people, but not like YouTubers. I mean like other rappers that be with like, all right? Like other rappers that be with my people. Yeah. So, um, so when Didi Osama and D-Dot performed together, it's been a minute since they all have performed together. Um, what you, how you thought, how you felt about that? I felt like it was good. I posted it. Finally. Oh, is it going to finally shit? Or be like, yeah, the block going up type shit? That's how it's supposed to be. The block supposed to go up together. And like, um, you know, unfortunately, E. Dot not with us. How did you find out about the news? I mean, we was, I was in my crib. Still in my crib. And um, are you still, like, checking on his family and shit like that? Or like? Yeah, we old. His mom's be coming outside for the basketball tournaments. Mm -hmm. Be going through his block, candle lions, a whole lot. Yeah. I feel like Eli always did it up for his birthday. I feel like y'all definitely do it up for him, too. You know definitely. what I'm saying? Like, y'all definitely keep that going. Um, Yeah, so how do you feel like? I feel like you would be so proud of all y'all, though, honestly. Are you into a king? Have you been speaking to king? Yeah, I, was just, I think I just talked to king yesterday, right? Where my son was just telling me to keep driving, you know. Motivational words tell me go up. Motivational words, that's good. Mm. That's good. Um, I'm, do you have music with E Dot? Yeah, I got old songs and shit that's like now before, like before I was dropping, before I was rapping how I rap now, it was like funny, like funny tracks. Funny rapper. Funny rapper. Um, do you feel like you would ever drop them or no? I probably gotta change my verse. Or I gotta change my verse. I was gonna say, cause I, I don't think since he passed, I don't think nobody really dropped music with him. Uh, type shit. I think everybody holding it unreleased. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you feel like you wanna hold it for your own memories or you feel like you might put it out one day? Nah, I mean, I guess we all gonna put it out one day. We got to. Type shit? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Do you feel like they should release a little bit more of his music or you feel like? Yeah. What you think? Uh, yeah, I think, I think they definitely should. I think he about to, I don't know if he is gonna drop another tape soon. So. I don't know. I don't he got know. enough music for sure. I hope so. He definitely got enough music. So, um, so, yeah. I think that's kind of everything. Anything else you want to touch on? Mm -mm. Did you see the um, the drama on the uh, thing about Dee Dee Lincoln, the the new upcoming boy? What's his name? Baby G or something like that? Baby G. The G rapper. He just started coming out. He young. Yeah. No. I don't know either. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta think about it. Uh, old Glock said they didn't pick a side, so we shouldn't either. Yeah. And then, like, in Chicago, there was, like, a whole thing. The Chicago niggas was mad. One of them said some shit. Did you see all of that? <laughs> oh, yeah. 600 yeah. nigga, right? Yeah. Do, do you ignore all of that stuff? Or you just feel like... So I got nothing to do with me, bro. Yeah, know. but I say, like... So yeah, and then y'all locked in with, I feel like y'all were locked in with Dirk, y'all locked in type shit. Yeah, we locked in with BBG. <laughs> <laughs> locked in my jersey songs. <laughs> type shit, okay. Gangsta. Anybody you want to do music with in the town, so you feel like? In New York or like? Yeah, in New York. In New York. Or you feel like you done, you cool with. Uh, anybody I want to do music with, probably for my block. Other than that, some people that's neutral. But I got a couple songs that's coming out. I ain't gonna lie, I got, I'm lying, I got to do, do these songs. Okay. I keep forgetting to get them shit done. Are you gonna do a song with a girl? Yeah. Like who? Cool. Like who would you do a track with? From New York or elsewhere? But um, we know sexy way. But like who else? Definitely lots of <laughs> sexy. Yeah, um, but like would you do a song with a girl? Yeah. Someone that's not obvious. I don't know. It gotta be someone that's not obvious. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. Um, what if she a singer though? It don't gotta be like. I see a singer, yeah, we gonna get it in. We definitely gotta, gotta get the track in. Any you, girl that wanna get a track in with me, just let me know. Are you sketchy about the girls that are happy? Like, you ain't trying to know music with them type shit? 
or just like it don't make sense. It'll make sense. I got tough. And what you wanna do like a like a like a club thing? Like a <laughs> about to just go up do a song together, a marketing thing, whatever, right? Right. Yeah. No. Nope. You're not with that. That's fair. So tell people where to find you. How could they tune in with you? All right, y'all can go find me. My Instagram, Bloody from the O. My YouTube, Bloody from the O. About to drop an album September eighth. Everybody be on point. Go mm-hmm. cool. pre-save that right now. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. And that's the talk of the town. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you check out our website at www.talkofthetownshow.com.